Oh, good morning, sunshine. It's day one of RV Unplugged Season 2. The sun's not even up yet. You can see over there on the microwave. Oh, you see it at 6.50 in the morning. I don't remember the last time I was up at 6.50 in the morning. It's been a long time. But uh, we had our pre-production meeting last night, and we have to be over there at 8 o'clock. So we had to get up early to get everything done. Mm -hmm. And still got to dump all the tanks. Yeah. We don't know much more after the production meeting, but we do know no. a little bit. We know that today we are going to be setting up where we're going to be living for the next yes. two weeks. 11, 12 days of production and a couple of days of like filming, I guess, interviews and stuff. But um, And then we will learn what teams we're on today mm -hmm. and which other couples will be on our team. Yes. So... Any predictions? You think we're going to be on Team Phil or Team Stacy? I, I don't know. Like, I want red because I look better in red. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about vanity. Well, I like I, I like them both. Phil mm -hmm. and Stacy. I think Stacy's going to be more of an aggressive yeah. coach, so I kind of want to go that way. But well, they could switch colors. Stacy could be Team Blue this year. They, they could. Yeah, they're always going to happen, man. That's true. And then we've been told that as soon as we get done. Figuring out what teams we're on, the competition starts immediately, so we'll probably have some kind of a challenge today of some kind. I don't know if it'll be an eliminated challenge, elimination challenge right out the gate, but... I hope not. I hope not either. <laughs> kind of, somebody might be going to Black Tank Island, it's, like, not even stay one night on set. That'd, <laughs> that'd be, be crazy. That'd be crazy. Yeah. But what's even um, worse is it's a cold day today. It is cold. It's the next 45. four days are going to be cold. 45 degrees outside there this morning, so... So, what are you going to make me do in the cold? Phew, I don't know, man. I don't know that we perform well in the cold. <laughs> no. We're not cold people. Well, wake up early, put me in the cold, I'm already at double disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll come back after the end of the day today, and we'll let you know. Oh, I accidentally turned the thing on. Turn the water on. <laughs> Talk with my hands and turn the water on. Uh, we'll come back at the end of the day and we'll let you know what happened, what team we're on, and how it all shakes out today. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready or not? Yeah. We just arrived to the set of RV Unplugged Season <laughs> Two. We have contestants lined up this way. We have the field in front of us where the set is. The crew is already filming us. We got drones in the air everywhere. We got contestants all the way down the line, down this way. Yeah. This is about to get cool and crazy, man. This is gonna be so much fun. It's so cold today. It's though. like 40 it's so degrees. Cold. <laughs> We're all sitting here with our windows down, but it's so cold. This is awesome. That's it's a lot of hurry up and wait right now, but I see the production crew moving our way. They have to have our windows down so that they can get shots. So we're sitting here in the cold with our windows open. Hopefully they'll get us going soon so we can actually either either get out and get moving or at least put our windows back up. <laughs> they got me, I just got out, they got me mic'd up. I feel like, look at that, look at that. I feel like I'm undercover, like I'm an undercover agent. They're probably listening right now. See, the problem is, is I don't have control of this microphone. I know. They turn it on whenever they want. Yeah. They could be listening right now. Okay. They probably are listening right now. Are you listening right now? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell your deepest, darkest secrets then. Yeah. Are you wired? Why? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> I would be so bad at being undercover. You would. I would You'd be busted suck. immediately and I would be killed. Yeah. Or even worse. Or even worse. <laughs> it's a lot of sitting around. Yeah, so far. I anticipated that. You know, they got to get their shots right. They got to get everything, everything perfect. And how we're gonna park? Uh, as soon as we get done with this portion of it, where everybody's getting mic'd up, they're doing shots out in front of the rigs, kind of like that slow mo, Intro like stuff. cross your arms. This is the next season of RV Plug. You know, and all that crap. Oh, they should hire you to do yeah. the voice instead of tell. <laughs> and uh, and then we'll figure out like what's going on. I think we're gonna figure out teams, and we're gonna. Yeah. There's gonna be a competition today. There, I told us. Yeah. Uh, because he told me I'll turn the microphone on when the when the contest starts, and I'm like, oh, there's gonna be a contest today. So I don't know whether it's gonna be an elimination on the first day or whether it's gonna be something else. But I hope no elimination on day one. It's gonna be fun either way. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know who's in this helicopter, but. I'm sure it's Todd. It's probably Todd. <laughs> no, 
That's awesome. That is so cool. A helicopter just landed. Looks like Todd is in the shotgun seat. He's getting out. And then he's going to come over here and greet the coaches, I think. Well, one of the longest parts of the production day is parking the rigs. Yeah. We have our team now. We'll talk to you more about that here in a minute. But um, I'm going to show you what's going on. This craziness <laughs> has ensued. I'm already parked, but it was a nut roll. Okay. And I was only I was the second one parked, but it's just crazy out here. Logistically, it's not it's not great. No. It's not ideal it's for not, a bunch of big rigs. It's not a flat field. <laughs> and there's a bunch of sand, so everybody's in four wheel drive. We're hoping the class A's don't sink. Yeah. Let me show you. Oh, I forgot to mention Scout is just up here watching all the carnage <laughs> unfold out here in front of him. He likes watching people try to back in. It's very entertaining. Well, there you go. There you have it. You got one team on this side. You got other team on this side. As you probably already know by watching the episode, we are on the red team. We're on team Stacy. And this is our side right here. They didn't do it like they did last year where they circled the wagons on one side and one and the other. They're letting us just line them up that way in the evening time. We can all congregate up here at the stage or the area where we do our, you know, end of production day question and answer and all that good stuff. And uh, so this is us right down close to the end here. And then, so we're pretty close to the, the area. And then you got the Airstream here, which is the, um, the Blue Compass air your dirty laundry confessional booth <laughs> and uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting it is sandy uh, a lot of loose ground out here uh, hopefully it doesn't rain because this will become uh a situation but even the class a's you can see tolson in life they are are good to go they're up on the hill there they kind of strategically placed all the class a's to where they uh, had the the most solid ground they wouldn't sink but even with us the big fifth wheels we already have the weight that are normally on board and now we added 750 pounds of water so you get on this soft sand like this and uh man you can sink you can sink pretty easily and stuff like that so you got to be careful uh that's um registered nomads over there and they sunk in pretty bad they had to get uh leveled up they put some extra blocks and stuff to get leveled up luckily we were on a pretty good spot here so we already did the uh challenge to find out what team we're on and now uh we kind of know what's what to expect a little bit from production days but i think we still have a challenge to go today and so we'll get through that and then we'll talk about that in a little bit first day is complete we survived it we actually won the first challenge, which was a luxury challenge. We got the mixologist from Margaritaville over here to show us how to make some margaritas. We're sitting around our campfire hanging out. This is the red team, and this is the first win of season two of RV Unplugged. This is awesome. It was a great day. Great first day. Yeah, we showed up. We really didn't know what to expect. We lined up. Um, they did all the intro shots. It was crazy. Todd flew in on a helicopter. Uh, yeah, that was cool. Holy crap, man. I wasn't expecting that. And so I guess before we arrived, Phil and Stacy jumped out of an airplane. Yeah. To, to see what to color see what the color team, team was going to be. And the same colors they were last year. Yeah. And then we did the key challenge. Yeah. To figure out which team we were going to be on. Yeah. And that frustrated me. Oh, there was this little area with uh, you know mounds of dirt, and they said there's like 500 keys in here, and we had to relay. And only back. 10 of them open boxes. Yeah, so we chose to have have you go out and look for the keys. Yeah. Bring them back to me. I run over and check the boxes. Sounds simple. Was not simple. You were finding keys. I was finding keys, but not the right keys. Yeah. So to so me, I kept throwing them out into like the middle of the pit. Know, like, I'm standing there like, come on, <laughs> just bring me a key. <laughs> was, and it didn't help that everybody is trampling all over these dunes. And it's so, sandy. And it's sand. It's so Florida. So it just pushes the keys further so, down So yeah, like if there was a key there, you're just embedding them into the ground. So yeah. I think they could have tweaked that a little better. Yeah. Somehow. So it really was not a situation where anyone was picked last, which was good. Yeah. Because it was random and we were just... But we were last. We were last. <laughs> we didn't get picked last, but we found our key last. So yeah. we already knew at the end. We knew what team we were going to be on because the other team was process full. Process of elimination. So we're like, well, we're going to be on red team, which was great. Yes, I wanted red. Because why? Because I look better in red. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Vanity. Red's, it's the only reason why. Red's my favorite color, and I look better in red than blue. Yeah, and so we're happy to be on Stacy's team. It's awesome. Yes. We have a great team. Yes. I feel like we Love have a our good team. dynamic. Yes. And it showed. It did prevail. In the first challenge. Yes. Because I feel like the blue team got stacked with the strength. The, they did. That's what we talked about. Yeah. We're like, man, it feels like the powerhouse in yeah. strength is on blue, and that could hurt us. Yeah. But in first challenge, it did not hurt us. It didn't, because we, I feel like we strategized really well. Yeah. We said, all right, who knows solar? All right, who can carry heavy stuff? Yes, we designated who people. Who is tall and can reach these straps? And who can put this stuff together? So yeah. we everybody kind of knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And then as stuff you know unfolded, Stacy did an amazing job. She was great at guiding us. She was like, okay, stop what you're doing. We need to, you, you go do this. You go do that. Yeah, because they couldn't, she couldn't help touch anything, right. but she could verbalize what needed yeah. to be done. And she was very good at that. And it was really, really close. Yes. We won by less than a, less 30 than seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. And we had to, which is actually a lot yeah. when you count out seconds. We it didn't get it right the first time. No. Well, neither did, neither did they. So yeah. you had to stop your time. Yeah, the clock stops. And then... They tell you they, what's they wrong. They tell you what's wrong, then still. your time starts again until yeah. you fix it, and then your time stops again. So we didn't know where they were at. Yeah. Or where we were How at. How fast they were fixing their issues. Because we were the first one to go, hey, we're done. But then we had issues that we yeah. had to fix. And then they oh. said they were done. And then they, they had, had issues, issues to fix. So... It, we did we couldn't gauge in our heads like who fixed it fast enough did we get enough to lead on that first time mm -hmm. to, to make it to where we would still have enough time yeah. after they fixed their stuff their stuff was quick fixes I felt like yeah I was looking down like, I really oh, man, they fixed nervous. their stuff fast so yeah. I was like oh I don't know but it was really cool we won we did win we got margaritas we got a mixologist to show us how to mix uh, a special Margarita. Leslie's still feeling the buzz from the I tequila. am freaking... <laughs> the room is spinning. I don't drink hard liquor very often. Yeah. And when I do, it's vodka, and it's it's not nearly the The mango the right. tequila. Mango tequila is the bomb. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's my new favorite because it was a special drink for the show. Yeah. The unplugged margarita. And so what was it? It was mango, mango tequila. tequila. Triple sec. Yeah. Some pineapple uh, juice. Pineapple juice. A couple other things. Some, one more other thing. It was good. Oh my God, I finished it like that, but it took a minute to hit me. Yeah. And then now it's hitting me. And then they threw in this twist. Yeah. Where they asked on the blue team who thinks they did their best. Yeah. And one of their contestants raised their hand, Kevin. Yeah. And and so he Todd calls him up and says, Hey, I got these two scrolls, you pick one. Mm -hmm. And if one of them's a, we're going to eliminate somebody tonight, and the other one is... Nobody gets eliminated. Nobody gets eliminated or something yeah. else. And so he picked the other one. Luckily, he picked the good one. Yeah. And so everybody got these solar briefcase... Briefcase things. panels. Yeah. So that's better than being eliminated. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, first night somebody could get eliminated? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. I'm like, I just spent half an hour parking this rig. <laughs> yes. That was a goat rope in itself, getting everybody parked. Because then yeah, you got to get lined up and you know all that. They stuff. wanted to look all uniform. Yeah, yeah. So it had to be had to be right. So and we're room. on grass grass that's filled with sand. Sand. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, if I did all that today and I get eliminated, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> so luckily we didn't get eliminated today. There was no elimination today. Yeah. Tomorrow there probably will be. Yeah. We have to we win have to tomorrow. Win. We totally have to win, yeah. whatever it is. And then we did our first session in the Blue Compass, Air Your Dirty Laundry Airstream. Yeah. But it's always good to go in there when you've got good stuff to talk about. Yeah. And we were talking about all the fun stuff and winning yeah. and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. I think it was good. It was a great first day. I definitely want to go as far as we can in this yeah. competition because I'm having so much fun already. I yeah. don't want to leave. As long as we win, we don't have to eliminate. Exactly. <laughs> and we got to do a little better. We were just talking about this in the area you're doing laundry. We got to do a little bit better about finding the tokens, about finding the secret The secret stuff. tokens, yes. Yeah. We have to keep our eyes peeled for this. I really was just focused on the task. I was focused on the team thing, which we still want to be team players. Yes. We still want to be good teammates. 
But in the long just game, you have to, to be play for yourself. more aware of our surroundings. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Attention and to it, detail. Yeah. yeah. Don't get too wrapped up in the challenge at hand. Yeah. And forget everything else around it. But I can't wait until tomorrow. We're gonna have so much more fun. And <laughs> hey, keep it right here. Uh, and so hit the subscribe button because as long as we're still in the competition, we're gonna be back here. You know, yeah. every week, right after it gets released on RV Unplugged, and we're going to give you our version of what happened. Yep. <laughs> but hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you again <laughs> next, next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.